Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotions. This is our devotion for Monday, September 18th. Uh, this week we are going to be exploring the theme of living hope. And we're going to be using Peter's first letter um, as we explore this theme today. Today we're going to do a reading from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. And it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are now being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed at the last time. Living hope. Peter talks a lot about this living hope we have when we are made God's children. Well, when we're talking about this hope that we have, it's really important to go to the source. Okay, there was a time when my sons were doing writing assignments in, in, in high school and college where if you would say something, they, they would kind of smart alecly reply, what's your source? What's the source? Cite your source. We want to know where the information came from. And that is important to know the source of where something's coming from. Um, we want to know the source of the water we are drinking. Is it a clean source or, or, or is it polluted? We want to know the source of the information we are being given. Is it a reliable source or is it somebody that makes up stories? We want to know where the food we eat comes from. Is it sustainably sourced or, or you know, is it, is it bad for us? I, I, I don't know. We talk about the source a lot. Well, in this first part of his letter, Peter is talking to us about the source for the living hope we have. And that source we have for the living hope is God's promise of salvation through Jesus Christ. That is the source of our living hope. Peter's going to get into a lot of stuff re regarding things that attack that hope. But as Christians, we know that no matter what we experience, our hope is based on Jesus Christ. Our hope isn't based on where we live. It's not based on who we vote for. It's not based on some governmental power. It's not based on, on, on some treasure we have stored up someplace, unless you are talking about the treasure we have because God has given it to us. Because you see, the hope we have isn't going to decay. It's not going to pass away. It is eternal because the hope we have is the promise that we have been given that through our faith in Jesus Christ, all our sins are washed away and we are restored as God's children, where we are going to be able to be with God for eternity in his presence. That is the source of our hope. And nothing can take that away. So we have this living hope that comes from the almighty, all-powerful God giving us a promise of new life and salvation through his Son. What an amazing way to start the week. I hope that you continue to join us as we look into this, this idea of living hope that Peter talks so much about. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to be the source of our living hope, to take away our sins and to make us new creations in you. Lord, help us to continue to grow in our faith so that we can have that hope and assurance of new life in your name. Amen. Been good seeing you. See you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.